Bitcoin just made an attempt at the final boss, price point of 69,000, and got slapped back down to around the $63,000 level at the time of this video. If you've been in the crypto market since the last bull cycle and survived this long, brutal bear cycle, congratulations. We've made it back to previous all-time highs. Now things are about to get really interesting. More gains in Bitcoin are coming, gains in ETH are coming, altcoin season is coming. So now is the time to start getting active and paying close attention to the crypto markets. And what's great is that there are three simple daily actions we can all start today that over time will become three easy daily habits that will help us on our personal crypto journeys. One, stay up to date on daily news. My go-tos are the For You tab on Google News and X, formerly Twitter, for quick daily overviews of global, technological, financial, political, and regulatory news. To make it super simple for everyone, if you don't have an X account, create one and follow all the accounts I follow because I'm extremely careful and selective with the accounts I follow because Otherwise, X can turn into a constantly flowing faucet of noise and distraction. And in addition to the accounts I follow, definitely follow the correct and official accounts of every crypto project you're invested in or interested in to stay up to date on all the latest developments. Two, stick to an investment strategy that dictates when you buy, when you sell, and when you take profits. There are a ton of strategies we can choose to implement, so if you want to explore my strategy, you can check out this video guide for beginners by clicking on the link above. At the end of the day, the most important thing to be successful in this market after adopting a strategy is by consistently sticking to our investment strategy. And three, monitor your crypto investments efficiently by organizing them using free portfolio trackers like what's provided on CoinGecko and by setting up price alerts for when a crypto hits a price point you want to take profits at. This will help out a lot with sticking to our investment strategies. Amazing. Looking back at the Bitcoin price chart and using the Morales Money Indicator tool, on the weekly, so long as Bitcoin stays above this $55,000 level, we will continue to be in a bullish trend. If it drops below 55K, the trend will flip bearish. So make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all of Bitcoin's latest moves. Cool. Hello, I'm Crypto Casey and welcome to another episode of Crypto This Week. Let's take a look at what's going on in the crypto markets today. Please be sure to check out our sponsors, Morales Money, Lorenzo CPA, and Tangem Wallet. Know when to buy, sell, and hold crypto with the Money Line tool we've been using for several months now to monitor bullish and bearish trends in the market, as well as find altcoin gems before they pump with Morales Money, which is a whopping 75% off for a limited time using the link below. Lorenzo CPA, my personal accountant, has saved me a ton of time and money over the years with tax saving strategies. So book a free call with him today and check out his crypto tax course we can get at a discount using the links below. And invest in your very own cold storage hardware wallet, Tangem Wallet. It's the size of a credit card, multi-currency, multi-chain, and it's by far the easiest crypto wallet to set up and use on the market right now, and it's extremely affordable. So scroll down and use links below to access the correct and official sites, as well as redeem any special offers they have for us. Bitcoin is just heating up, and if history rhymes or repeats itself, we may be approximately 10 to 12 months away from a peak in Bitcoin's price. And as we discussed on our last episode of AMA Monday, where I answered questions everyone sent me on my Instagram Ask Me Anything story last Wednesday, my random wild guess at what Bitcoin's peak price will be this cycle is $169,420. If you want to ask me anything for next week's episode, every Wednesday today, be sure to go to my one and only official Instagram account using the link below, go to my story and submit a question to be featured on episode two of AMA Monday. Cool. So for many of us, this year could be one of the most important years of our lives as it relates to our crypto journeys together. This will likely be the last crypto market cycle that presents a once in a lifetime opportunity to make life changing gains in a relatively short period of time. Altcoins have still been relatively calm and ETH is still down about 33% from its all time high of around $4,800. Solana is still down 100% from its previous all-time highs. Dogecoin, even though it's been pumping recently, is still down 366% from its all-time high. So remember, as we've been discussing on the channel, crypto markets pump in waves. First Bitcoin pumps, then ETH, then large caps, and finally medium and small caps. We are still very early in this bull cycle. We can clearly see the potential. So to front run the wave, now is the time to start establishing positions in altcoins if we haven't already. If you bought some of the cryptos we explored together a few months ago, you've already made some nice gains, which you can check out a review of these plays in this video by clicking the link above. These dumps following pumps are natural and expected. We never go in a straight line upwards as we discussed yesterday. 
I mean, we were just at 64K yesterday and we hit an all time high. So we haven't really lost any ground. A 7% pullback after a massive run from pretty much 50K to 69K is fine. We are still testing this price area, this all time high resistance level. There are people out there that bought the last high that are finally breaking even and selling after holding Bitcoin at a loss for over the last few years. Also 70K, a multiple of 10, like 50K, 60K. These are also very psychological levels for the market. So once we punch through it and stay above it, it's off to the races. All new price discovery from there because there are no resistance levels after the final boss. And as we explored in yesterday's video, you can check out by clicking on the link above. Historically, after Bitcoin crushes previous all-time highs, it just pumps like crazy. It flies, flies to the moon, fam. Cool. Another factor affecting the markets is that Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell has his semi-annual testimony before Congress Wednesday, today, and Thursday which the markets are expecting a hawkish message to try and dampen the recent rally in stocks. We will go over his testimony together in the next video, so make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all the latest news. At the end of the day, the available supply of Bitcoin continues to dry up as demand continues to heat up. Check out this tweet. I just checked again. Cash App has no Bitcoin. Supply shock OMG. We can't buy Bitcoin on Cash App. As we discussed the other day, OTC desks or over-the-counter desks that big institutions use to buy large amounts of Bitcoin without affecting the price are out of Bitcoin. As everyone is forced to buy Bitcoin on public exchanges, it will push the price higher and higher. Amazing. These are exciting times, fam. So if you're enjoying more frequent videos like we've been doing this week, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comments below. And as we preach on every single video, please get a hardware wallet and transfer your crypto off of exchanges so you completely own and control your digital assets. And just so no one has any excuse, I'll show you how easy it is to set up a cold storage hardware wallet in less than 60 seconds together, right now, and then transfer crypto from an exchange to it, also in less than 60 seconds using Tangent Wallet. Opening the box, here we have the three cards. Next, installing the correct and official Tangent Mobile app on our phones and opening the app, tap scan card and touch one of the cards to your phone like so. Next, click create wallet and tap the card to your phone again. Nice, now we have a crypto wallet. Let's create backups of it. Tap backup now and then tap add a backup card and tap the second card to your phone. Cool, now tap add a backup card again and tap the third card to your phone. Then tap finalize the backup process and enter an access code to secure your wallet. Re-enter the access code to verify it and then scan the primary card ending in the corresponding numbers on the screen that matches the card, holding it up to your phone until the operation is complete. Then repeat this process for the two backup cards. That's it, it's configured and ready to use. So now let's move some Bitcoin we have from the Coinbase exchange together to our Tangent wallet in less than 60 seconds. Open the Tangent map, tap scan card, Scan the card, enter your access code, scan the card again, and from here on the dashboard, press and hold Bitcoin, then tap copy address. Next, open the Coinbase Exchange app, tap the send button, tap Bitcoin, paste the Tandrum Bitcoin wallet address into the to field and tap continue. Enter the amount of Bitcoin we want to send. I always recommend sending a small amount to test to make sure everything is good to go. In this case, we are sending $100 worth of Bitcoin. Tap preview, then tap continue, Make sure everything looks good, then tap send now. And it's on its way. In a few minutes or so, we will open our Tangent app and see the $100 worth of Bitcoin we sent that we now completely own and control. Repeat the same process for any other cryptocurrency by copying the corresponding address on Tangent Wallet. Also making sure we select the right network. Like for example, with Tether, there are many other available networks like Ethereum versus BNB Smart Chain versus Solana and more. Then repeat the same similar process on any other exchange you may have crypto on by using the send function, pasting the address in the recipient field, and checking to make sure everything looks good before sending. The process is actually much easier and simpler than most people new to crypto think, and it's a lot like riding a bike. I can try to explain how to ride a bike, show you how to ride a bike, you can read about riding a bike, however at the end of the day you need to get on the bike and ride it for yourself to learn. So start practicing transferring to and from different exchanges and wallets to prepare for this face melting bull cycle so you can take profits and potentially change your life with some nice gains. If you want to watch a full video on how to use Tandrum, check out this video guide by clicking on the link above and scroll down and use links below for a nice discount and to access Tandrum's correct and official site. Awesome. So if you'd like to increase your chances of making gains by buying and selling altcoins at the right time using the money line, 
check out this video. If you would like to learn the best proven strategy in crypto, which is how to DCA or dollar cost average into the crypto markets, check out this video. And to get your very own Tangent Wallet, click on the link on the screen. Like and subscribe for more. Be safe out there.